Hey y'all, so it's time for my Finish 13 by Halloween Project Pan update. I have just finished month two, so I only have one more month left in this challenge. I know I'm not going to finish all the products. I, I pretty much knew that from the beginning, hair. Um, but I'm ready for I'm ready for Halloween to be here. I actually hate Halloween. I don't like scary stuff. But Halloween is when this part of Texas finally starts cooling off, and so I'm just I'm ready. I am so ready for it. So at the last update, I had only hit my goal on one item, and that was Becca Moonstone from the Afterglow palette. These shimmering skin perfectors and blushes are about the size of a single eyeshadow, and I had just wanted to hit pan in it, and I did. I have still worked on it a little bit. I love it, so I'm still happy to wear it, and in fact, I do think when I use up this small pan, I will probably invest in the full size of Moonstone. It is a very, very very beautiful highlighter and I would be very happy if that was the only kind of gold highlighter I had so there hasn't been a lot of change in it from the last month because like I said I did already hit my goal and that was just to hit pan and I've been kind of switching up my highlighters a bit ever since I have still made progress on it I've still used it many many times but I don't know that you can tell the pans really grown anymore now on to the products I finished up since the last update there are four of them that I've completed very very happy about that so the first one is the Dior lip glow it's the color reviver balm in the shade 001 pink it's like the original color and I knew this would be finished up a couple of days after that last update I just needed a little bit more work on it and I was able to finish it as you can see I've even kind of dug some out of there so I'm very happy that's gone I love like the smell and the taste it's a nice enough lip balm but I just don't like how hot pink this turns my lips. This column in the center is the Dior Lip Glow. The top line was the intro where I started. The second line was last month's update and then it didn't take much longer after that to go ahead and finish it off. Next is another lip product I had in here and I'm so happy I finally finished this. This was rolled over from my last project pan where I didn't finish it um, and it, it was very pigmented and took a lot longer than I thought it would. I've been working on this for a good four weeks before I finally killed it. Um, this this is the Too Faced La Creme lipstick in Nude Beach. It was one of the oldest lipsticks that I had and when I got down to this very bottom it started tasting bitter like if I got anything in my mouth it would leave a bitter taste and I knew like it smells smells fine but that taste in my mouth was a signal something's not right here so I did finally finish that off it's a very beautiful color I love the color but the formula is not for me and I won't be buying any more Le Creme lipsticks or Le Creme mattes or anything like that so this last column over here is where I started that was the intro mark and now I am done I did not mark it the first month's update because I didn't work on it at all I had focused on that Dior lip glow and then when that was done I moved on to this. This next item I knew I was going to finish within a couple of days of my last update and it's the Herbivore Rose Hibiscus Coconut Water Face Mist and I just was never crazy about this. I bought it and it was a mistake and I never took it back um, but I did finally use it up. And then the last product I finished up just a couple of weeks ago and it was the Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleanser. You can see on the side my marks. That was the first update. That was, um, excuse me, that was the intro. That was the first update and now it is gone. I think I'm just going to have to suck it up with this product because it cleans your brushes like it's amazing. I cannot take it away from this product how well it works. It's also cruelty free too. I just can't stand the scent. I hate vanilla. I just can't stand it. It's not like it gives me a headache or anything so it's not that bad. I just don't like the scent. But I looked on the Sephora website. The only brush cleansers like this, not ones that you have to go wash your brushes, all that. I'm happy with that deep clean. I mean a spot brush cleanser that's dry like that in five minutes. The only ones they have are the Cinema Secrets and the Sephora brand. The Sephora brand not only is not cruelty free, but I've actually not heard great reviews about them either. So I decided I might as well just go buy another one of these. It's cheap. It's fine. It works really well. I'm just going to have to get over the scent because it actually does work. Now on to the six products that I have left. This first one is the Smashbox Primer in the Pore Minimizing version. I do have some marks on the back. Intro, first update, that's approximately where I am now, although it's getting hard to mark and get an even line drawn on it. You can see I don't have a whole, whole lot left, but I, I just have no idea. This one, honestly, may be the longest lasting product in here because... 
you know, I, I feel like I'm making progress on it, but it really is slow going because you don't need a whole lot of this. So whatever happens, it's cool. I'm sure I'll finish it up by the end of the year. I'm gonna go ahead and get this one out of the way. I'm working on my EOS lip balm, my last EOS, finally. Um, this one's one of the coconut swirl ones, and I have made some really great progress on this this last month. I don't know if you can tell, but there's really not a whole lot left. It's a little bit higher on one side, but it is nearly flat. And as soon as it's flat, I'm done with it. I know there's like 10 more years of product in the bottom. I don't care. I don't like them that much. They're just really waxy to me, and they don't like sink into the lips. So I'm going to be happy to be done with this. But I am nearly certain that this will be gone by the uh, last month's update. Next is the Bobbi Brown Long Wear Cream Shadow Stick in the shade Golden Pink. And it's just, <laughs> there is progress. I can mark it, but I think this is going to take like 10 years to use up. It is so slow going. And I'm using it pretty much every time I wear makeup during the week because I, do, I like it. I think it's beautiful. And I've been doing some really simple eye looks with it just to get out the door and get to work. But it doesn't seem to matter how much I use it. It does not want to budge. So top line is where I was at the beginning of this project. Bottom line is where I am now. Last month there really wasn't enough progress to even mark so I didn't. Next product is the Too Faced Perfect Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner in Perfect Black. I don't think it's waterproof. It moves around on me so easily. It's a very, very creamy pencil. Anyway, so last week, popped it open to use it and the pencil was gone. It was hidden up in the cap. And so I did put it back in there and it seems to be doing okay, but I just have no idea how long it's gonna last. Um, so this may like break and I'll have to trash it before it's actually really done. I don't know. Just whatever happens happens with this one. I'm not sure. So this top line over there is where I started. I had a lot of the pencil left. Middle line is last month and you can see I've made a lot of progress since last month. So I'm very proud of myself on that one. This next product, I'm really excited to show you the progress I've made. This is a Bare Minerals Loose Blush in the shade First Class, and I did press it. I wet it with alcohol and pressed it into this container, and I do think that is what has helped me use this up a little bit quicker. So you'll have to see the photos on this to really see in detail where the progress has been made, but I have cleared out the entire bottom of it all gone. The only thing left is what is remaining on the sides and that little ring. Um, so I'm thinking I'll scrape that down and repress it or something like that or just maybe turn it back into a loose blush and use it up. I don't know. I really don't think that's a lot left though considering how much I've used. So I'm really proud of myself. I feel like I'm actually going to finish this up which I didn't know at the beginning of this challenge. Last product is the Lorac Pro Matte Palette, and I was working on the first two shades, which were Bare and Linen. And again, you'll have to see the photos, but I've made some great progress this time too. So I have finally finished up Linen. I was really struggling with that last month, but I decided just to repress it, and it went so fast after that. So I'm really glad I finished that one off. And now I've been able to focus on Bare which I don't know if you can see, I have made progress on as well, and now there's just kind of an L shape left in this pan. So that's my progress for the last month. This is definitely not the most successful project pan I've ever done. You know, I haven't finished the most amount of products ever or anything like that, but I'm cool with it. I've been kind of more relaxed on myself these last few months, not put so much pressure to finish stuff up, and I'm perfectly happy that way. So I'm going to finish up what I can finish up, and then next I will probably do like a six by Christmas or something like that. Like that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. Anyways, I will see y'all in a couple of days in the next video. Thank you so 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 much for watching and remember until next time that it is perfectly okay to just be small town famous love y'all bye